typically made my go-to smoothie for the day and I typically make it out of kale, apple, banana, but we don't have any kale right now. So I'm just kind of using what we have. Carrots, apple, banana, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of ginger in there. I don't like a whole lot of ginger in mine, but just like, just a little bit, because this stuff is strong. to put ice and water in here. I almost forgot. Last year we put all our cucumbers that we grew in the Vitamix and we made little frozen cucumber juice that we put in a freezer. So convenient. Okay, this looks pretty thick. <laughs> I might have overdid it with the carrots. I probably should have put like maybe two. But let's let's taste it out. Let's see how, how it tastes. The apple and the banana is a more powerful taste than the carrot taste. Like I hardly, I hardly taste any carrot at all. So it's mainly the apple and banana is what I taste, which is cool. But it's pretty good because maybe a hint of carrot, even though that was a lot of carrots. And I can imagine, and I think, you know, some people might not like the consistency of a blender versus a juicer which I totally understand that. But with the blender, this is a Vitamix that we use, you use the entire vegetable versus a juicer where it takes out like most of the pulp and like the skin. And so I like the fact that there's no waste here. I know you could strain this if you really wanted to, to get rid of the, the thickness of it. I like it. I like the smoothie taste. I like how this tastes like vegetables. Like there's nothing else added to it to make it sweet or anything. You know, the only thing that are making it sweet is an apple and banana. But this is a good start to the day.